104.3 FM Gupshup Station Assam. Good morning everyone out there on another simmering hot day in India. The climate crisis is up and I hope you too. In today's morning show, which is also live stream on the web, we have a well-traveled botanist, Sangeeta Deka, Hello. who will share her experience in search of sustainability along the mighty Brahmaputra and Indus River. I'm Sangeeta, I'm 27 years born in India and I know the world we are in is not the best possible of all worlds and that we can actually do something about it. Everything else I'm not so sure about. You spent three months traveling in search of sustainability. Tell us about your upstream journey. Ecosystem restoration and circular bioeconomy appears to me as the only solution to multiple crises we are in. Biodiversity loss, erosion of the land, spreading of deserts, droughts, and climate change. The journey started where the land meets the oceans, where the Brahmaputra reaches the sea. Water that originates from clear springs in the Himalayas is now heavily polluted filled with sediments, millions of tones, and deprived of almost all life. Scientists agree we are going through an event of mass extinction of diversity. What were once fringe ideas are now becoming existential mainstream around the world. Circular bioeconomists, the need of nature economics within the boundaries of our planets. What did you see and find on your journey? The journey was several thousands kilometers long. But if I had to choose one occasion, then I would be probably take. আইলেন <laughs> মানুষ <laughs> Wow! Unusual heat, erratic rains and the increasing danger of drought has led to great insecurities and uncertainty for Indian farmers. What role do intact forests have in this? Forests are the beating heart of our country. Water tables are lowered where forests disappear. Erosion intensifies. Floods increase at the land deserts more and more. Let me share with you a story from Assam. হ্যাঁ 
you can see this one is bell we call it bell okay actually the main reason for this nursery is for reforestation you know in our place uh, there is lots of reforestation going on near nameri national park and all illegal mining all in all places near the river bank side all illegal mining are going on so for that purpose we have started this nursery to reforest the places and all Before this place was totally planned, there was no crops growing. How many people actually work here? From 30 family to 10 to 15 people. Really, really Every day? Cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. And after harvesting, what they will get from here? To, uh, after harvesting, they can sell to market uh, 20 to 25 quintals of turmeric. Yes, so it is. This has been supported by Balipara Foundation. They saw this model to mm. Sikom village people. Mm. Na? Mm. So they are now quite happy and they are happily working in the field. You can see. Oh. Yeah. This side, all this area has been planted by Balipara Foundation. How many saplings are there? Here we have planted one lakh sapling. One lakh? Yeah. How can this uh, I mean, plantation can change the social dynamic of this region? Actually, after plantation, mm. uh, nobody can cut that down the trees, the big trees and all. Mm. It became protected from every side. In interventions where farmers' income increase by 40%, while at the same time biomass and forest cover multiplied. With an intelligent system, you can produce more food on less land, leaving more space for forests to be restored or even integrated into such a system. Agroforestry is the name of such a system, a very promising solution. on a severely degraded land, where a little of potential vegetation left. The community has taken the initiative to restore what was once there. So far, more than half a million trees have been planted in 450 hectares of land. Will they stop planting trees once this island is totally covered? Special guest to our today's show, I now welcome one of the world's most prominent and radical scientists, a rock star in the worldwide battle for environmental justice, Dr. Vandana Shiva. What kind of a world do we live in? The state of the world is dismal when it comes to the dominant trend, which is promoted by big money, big ignorance, big thoughtlessness. But there is another emerging trend, and that emerging trend is to work with nature as part of nature. And that trend is what holds the seeds to the future. What kind of a world is possible? You know, I grew up in, in India before the fossil fuel age, before the chemical age, before the green revolution. And in our work in Navdanya of regenerating biodiversity, we have found that everything that petrochemicals and fossil fuels produce can be done better by plants and biodiversity. So the potential of restoration of the land with biodiversity regeneration is huge for livelihood generation, for healing the earth, and even healing the broken climate system. I'm such an admirer of your work and your life's journey. Truly inspiring. What an intellectual power with clarity. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Shiva. Sangeeta Deka, Please share with us a couple of final words on what is your core learning during your search for sustainability. It is in our hands to sow the seeds for a new tomorrow, for a circular bioeconomy. High up in the headwaters, in Himalayas, in Ladakh, I was able to see it more clearly than ever. 
there is a whole cosmos beyond the human world one we know so little about and it is always present and makes our life possible i switch from the brahmaputra water set to the hindus water set the stream that gave our country's name even the most remote corners of our planet have been impacted by humans the himalayan glaciers disappear the third pole of our planet the water tower to more than 1 billion people where there is no water there is no life i have seen elephants in chains deprived of their freedom roads cutting right through forest reserves I have seen rivers run dry, empty skies with no rain inside, dried up land, but I have also met truly caring individuals, farmers that nurture the soils, communities that replant entire mountain sites, two NGOs that are fully committed to bring positive change about, Balibra Foundation and Reforestation, a man that self-handedly replanted an entire forest. mothers that take on trees like their own children It was a great pleasure and honor having you with us Sangeeta This is Radio Gupshap 94.3 FM proud to be local